This commenter asked me to do a video about SEO for beginners. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So whether you have absolutely no experience or knowledge with what SEO is, or maybe you just have a little bit of experience, I'm gonna explain in an easily to understand way what SEO is, search engine optimization, how to find what your customers or what people are searching for online, how to create content around what people are searching for online, and how to really all put it together so that you can optimize your website and grow your business online. Let's go. So first of all, let's talk about what is SEO. SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. And if you flip that, basically you're optimizing the content on your website for search engines, right? You or anybody is going to a search engine like Google or DuckDuckGo now, Bing, even YouTube is a search engine, right? You're typing a question or you're typing something into a search engine that you want to find the answer for. Keep that in the back of your mind because it's gonna tie everything together. How SEO works is that you want to create content around what people are searching for so that you can provide them with the answer. So how do you find what people are searching for in your particular niche or industry? I'm gonna show you two different websites, both are free, that you can use to find what people are searching for online so that you can create that content around it. So the very first website that I want you to go to is called answersocrates.com. And as you can see here on the website, it's actually going to show you some trending things uh, that are going on in the world, as well, as well as some questions around that. But what I want you to do here is type in a specific topic in this space right here. Uh, this could be whatever your business, industry, or product, or website is about. Then you can also select uh, a country here, whatever country that you're located in. You can also update uh, the language as well. So as an example, I'm going to type in uh, an industry that I work in, drug rehab. Uh, I'm targeting the United States, I'm targeting English. So you would just click search. And what this is going to do is it's going to populate all of these questions and how they're phrased that are related to that search industry term, right? It's also going to give you prepositions, comparisons, uh, in the past, by letter, etc. These are all uh, phrases that people are typing into search engines that you know people are consistently uh, searching for. So you can create content around these things. So are drug rehab centers free? Uh, are drug rehab centers cost tax deductible? I don't know if that's necessarily interesting to you. Can I sue a drug rehab? You know, how can I start a drug rehab center? Uh, etc. Like, basically you want to find which of these is relevant to your goals as a business owner or as an entrepreneur or whatever your objectives are. I'd write those down in a, in a document or a spreadsheet or something like that and begin to note these ideas to create content around it because it's what people are searching for on search engines. The next website that I want you to go to to take this strategy to the next level to find what people are searching for is called ubersuggest.io. Now, why this is different is this tool is gonna actually give you search volume, which means it's actually gonna show you how many people every single month are searching for that particular phrase. They want an answer for that particular phrase. So let's do the exact same thing here. I'm gonna type in that same keyword, drug rehab. Again, you can target any country or language that you want. I'm in the English in the United States. So I'm happy with this. I'm gonna click search. And when this loads, it's going to give you some uh, different data here. All right. So first, I want to explain these uh, different uh, little tabs here. Search volume. This is monthly search volume. So an estimated 12,100 people in the United States are typing into Google or search engines drug rehab. The SEO difficulty score. This means how hard it is to rank your website for that particular keyword. Now, the higher the number, this is based out of a score of 100, the higher the number, 
the more difficult it is. 61 is pretty high, so it's gonna be very difficult to potentially rank for this term. So I'm gonna show you some alternative ways to rank higher, if you will, uh, for related search terms. Paid difficulty is how difficult it is to pay to rank for this. This would be Google AdWords. And then the estimated cost per click, if you wanted to go the advertising route. Now this is not necessary, this is completely different from SEO. So I digress. But what this is going to do here is it's going to show you a bunch of keyword ideas. And we can uh, view all keywords here. Let's go and click on that button. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna show you a bunch of keywords. It's gonna show you the search volume, monthly search volume again, and the SEO difficulty score. So you can already see some of these numbers in the 20s are highlighted in green because they're easier to rank for. You want to create content on your website for what people are consistently searching for, but is fairly easy to rank for as well. So you could scroll down this list, right? and look for terms that are easy to rank for, right? Drug rehab for teens, potentially. 880 people are searching for this per month, and it's a relatively low uh, SEO difficulty score. So this might be an, a good article to create some content around, which is gonna be the next section that I'm gonna dive into as well. Uh, but you wanna go through this list and start taking down some notes of what people are searching for that are relatively easy to rank for. And uh, you can see here that uh, it, it gives you limited data set for the free version, this is all free. Uh, if you wanna pay for this tool, it'll unlock a lot more for you as well. And by the way, if, if anything is going over your head, I know this is an SEO for beginners question, leave me a comment below and I am happy to answer that for you. I also have a complete beginner to advanced SEO course. You can click the link in the description if you want to sign up for that video course where I go much more in depth and walk you through a lot of this stuff. Okay, so let's talk about how to write for SEO, how to write for search engine optimization on your website so that you can actually rank that page and rank your website higher on Google. Now what I did here with our root you know, keyword that we typed in here, drug rehab, I clicked on this questions tab because I want to create content around what people are searching for. So let's just pick an example here. Uh, let's go with uh, what is drug rehab? It gets, you know, 50 searches per month, but it's also fairly easy uh, to rank for this, this search term. So first I'm gonna click on this keyword and it kind of deep dives into this particular keyword, right? So let's say this is our, our target keyword. I have this document here and I wanna always keep in mind that our target keyword is what is drug rehab. Now how I like to structure this, for instance, is to break it down into different paragraph sections. Put yourself in the mindset of somebody that would search for that particular question. Whatever it is, it doesn't have to be this keyword, whatever it is that you want to be found for online. What sections or what paragraphs would be unique and interesting and informative to the person that is searching for that particular term. This is how you're going to convert more people from SEO to your business. It's not just about trying to rank high on the first page of Google, for instance. It's about providing value to that audience and providing them with the next steps that they can take to contact you for help or buy your product or whatever it is that your objectives are. So how do you know what works or, or what sections to, to break this down into? Well, you can just simply think about it or you can do a little bit of research. Now going back over here, we can see the top uh, websites that are already ranking for this particular keyword. So this, this treatment center here is ranking for what is online drug rehab. This one is, is ranking for what is a typical day in drug rehab like. So let's click on that one. That might be the most interesting. And what we're gonna do here is we're going to get some uh, examples. And let's click on a couple of these. What is online drug rehab? Just to get some, uh, some a couple examples, okay? 
And basically what we're doing here is we're looking at pages that are already ranking on Google. These are proven winning concepts so that you can essentially recreate these pages in your own unique words and in your own unique voice and from your own unique brand perspective onto your website. But we're, we're copying a strategy that has already been proven to work. I'm gonna scroll through these and look at the different paragraph sections, right? This is a this is a paragraph section here. You know, everything that fits within afternoon routine or various treatment programs. Now, this one may or may not be the best article for you. You might have a, a, a section, you know, we might break this down, right? So like paragraph one might be something like, you know, just basically what the search term is. What is drug rehab? Or what can you expect in drug rehab, right? And then paragraph two might be something along the lines of what somebody can expect in a day in treatment. What does a day in your treatment center look like, for instance? We're looking at some of these other examples. You know, what are the benefits of, addic of online addiction treatment? You know, we can take this as an example, right? Like what, paragraph three, what are the benefits of drug rehab program? Pardon my spelling issues here. You know, what types of drug rehab are there? These are all questions that this particular searcher, somebody, again, somebody is typing into Google, what is drug rehab? These are all paragraph sections that they might be interested in. And you might do a fifth paragraph here, right? How much does drug rehab cost? Right, and basically, yeah, I would structure this in five or six different paragraphs, but it, it can go as long or as short as it needs to be. Now, I would recommend writing at least a thousand word article, but this will be, if you structure it this way, it's going to be a lot easier for your SEO campaigns, right? So you can, you know, if you have five paragraphs here, each paragraph can be approximately 200 words. And when you structure it that way, it's way easier to maintain and execute this strategy, right? So you're just putting content in here. You know, you're just filling in the gaps. And when you're finally done with it, you want to optimize your content on your website, right? It might look like this. What happens in drug rehab? What happens before it? What to expect? You know, how to maintain the after process? How does it work? And really develop, you know, outline all of the information that would be beneficial to the person searching for that particular subject matter. Now, when you have an article that you're actually creating, you've already written the article, you have the sections filled out. I want to show you how to optimize that on your website to increase the likeliness that your article will rank on Google. There's a couple best practices that we want to pay attention to. So mainly you want to start with the header tags. Every paragraph on your article is going to be a, a header tag. An H1 tag through H6 tags, they have tons of different H tags, right? H1 through H6. And how I want you to think about this is the lower the number, the more important it is. So you want to have one H1 tag per page, and that is the main title of the article. Every other paragraph section is going to be an H2 tag. So the main keyword here that we wanted to rank for, right? I have this at the top of the article. And I'm using WordPress here, but you can also do this within anything that you're, uh, any platform that you're building your website on. So uh, this particular title here is an H1 because our target keyword is what is capped. Now our different sections here, right? This is our first paragraph section. This is gonna be an H2 tag. And then we have the paragraphs here, the next section here, what are the effects of cat? That's uh, another H2 tag. And then if there's another section to break down within a paragraph section, so for instance, this still fits within this, this paragraph. So this paragraph section is what are the effects? Now I might have another section 
below that called short-term effects, and then I might have one that's like long-term effects, right? So short-term effects, for instance, I would have this as an H3 tag. So it brings it up another level, right? So we start with one H1, all of the individual sections are H2s, and if there's any subsection, that's an H3. That's how I like to structure all of this. And basically that's how you would fill all of this out. There's a couple other really important elements. I like to include a complimentary video in the article as well around the same subject matter because this helps create rich content on the page. It opens up a lot of other opportunities as well. YouTube being a search engine, it just makes everything have a synergistic approach. So you could consider embedding a video on the same subject matter here. You can also embed an image as well. So this is an image that is uh, related to this article that I created. And in it, you want to add a complementary keyword in the alt text. So I have a uh, cat plant here. I wanna make this a little more descriptive even, so I'm gonna edit this. You wanna add descriptive alt text for ADA compliance. Um, basically describe exactly what's going on in the image. And if you can work a target keyword into that as well, that's pretty good, but the main purpose of this uh, is to tell Google what the image is for people that are visually impaired. So you just save that. And that's most of the elements that we want to pay attention to within the actual page, but there's a couple more things on the back end. So some of the most important things here are the SEO title and the actual meta description of that article as well. This is what directly shows up in Google search. This SEO title here is what people see as the headline in the in blue, and then the description, the meta description is the subject matter below it. So it's very important to incorporate that target keyword into, and be descriptive, right, as well, uh, into the SEO title. So our SEO title here is the article title, what is cat, the addictive herbal stimulant. That's what I have for the, the article here but you could customize this a little bit as well. I also like to include the brand name in the title there. And then we wanna make sure that we work in our target keyword uh, or phrase, or just answer the question in the meta description as well. And then don't forget the slug. Uh, this is the actual URL. So yourdomain.com slash everything that comes after it. You want to make this short, concise, and related to what that target keyword is as well. If you found this video helpful and you want to watch me actually build a page from scratch, watch this video right here and I will show you step by step how I write an article and post it on the website. I'll see you there.